With 31 instances, um, it's $100 per instance. Put a lien against my house. That our Governor DeSantis was presented a bill. Homeowners associations are not allowed to tell their residents that they cannot park pickup trucks in their driveways. Stand up for yourself, but treat people with respect and do the right thing. I did not. And I would like to formally apologize again for that. Today, I'm going to be telling you about how I was charged over $4,400 for parking my brand new pickup truck in my newly built home in a homeowners association and how I paid that fine in pennies in my battle with that homeowners association until the law was changed. Have a good day. See you later, Bill. I think that everybody dreams about building a home for their family, somewhere where they can raise children in a nice neighborhood and they're free to ride their bikes, park their vehicles in their driveway and do as they please while living in a nice neighborhood with good schools and somewhere that is just very peaceful and safe. And that was my goal when I built my dream home starting in 2021. Early 2021, my wife and I moved to Sarasota, Florida, where we rented a home for one year. During this one year, we began building our dream home. So not only do we bring value, but we bring youth and we're starting a family in the neighborhood. And I think that's something that a lot of neighbors would appreciate. Nobody, everybody would want a neighbor that you know, brings that drives a nice car, or, you know, has fun and rides four wheelers around or scooters or brings home their boat every once in a while or works on a car in their driveway. I mean, that's what neighborhoods are about is is life and, and fun. And, you know, it's not just about people being in each other's business. We built our dream home in an existing homeowners association governed community. And I will admit I messed up. I didn't read the fine print in the bylaws that stated you cannot park a pickup truck in a driveway. Now this rule was established in the 1980s. And in the 1980s, pickup trucks were not what they are today. They were mostly used for work and heavy duty and not so much of a family vehicle like they are today. So one thing that's really crazy about this neighborhood is that a pickup truck, whether it be a Ford Ranger or an F-150 or Super Duty, is totally fine. But a truck like that is okay. And so I just found it very unjust that they can pick between like a full size SUV, which is even larger than most pickup trucks, but they won't allow a pickup truck specifically. Some of the most sold vehicles in the United States are pickup trucks and they're used for a wide variety of reasons, but they can be used for doing stuff around your house, they can be used for work, they can be used for stuff at home, they can be used for transporting your family, and they're commonly used for just about everything as far as a vehicle is used for in the United States. You know, once we had finished building our home and it was about a month beforehand, I was driving through the neighborhood and introducing myself to some neighbors that were out working on their homes, and it was brought to my attention that I was not allowed to have a pickup truck in the driveway. And this was a big concern to me because I drove a long bed, large crew cab truck that barely fit in the garage by inches. And if you know what it's like to drive a large vehicle and pull into your garage when you have minimal space, it's very difficult for someone who lives a very active lifestyle like myself. Pulling into the garage constantly multiple times a day with only a few inches to spare can be dangerous to your house that you spend a lot of money on as well as your vehicle and it's a very large inconvenience. So I said, screw it, I'm gonna battle the HOA on this. So I did. It was just like an outdated rule that needed to be expunged and taken care of or just like gotten rid of. But the process in order to do so was so ridiculous that it just wasn't going to happen on my own. My wife and I moved into our home in May of 2022 and I instantly began parking my pickup truck in the driveway. It didn't take long to start getting letters in the mail. And after about nine months of living in the house, I was formally charged with $1,400 for 14 violations of parking my truck in the driveway. I went through the bylaws and in order to change this rule, I was going to have to have over 80% of the neighborhood vote in favor for this, which meant that I was gonna go have to knock doors on over 200 homes and basically beg people to park my nice truck in the driveway. And to be honest with you, I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. And so one of my friends said, hey, why don't you pay the fine in pennies? 
And it sounded like a hilarious idea. And I'll be honest in saying that I'm not proud of what I did, paying that fine in all coins, but I'm glad I did it and I'm glad it's over. And in this video, I wanted to formally apologize for anybody that I inconvenienced in doing so, but I absolutely do not regret doing it, but I would not do it again moving forward, if that makes sense. So in early 2023, I paid my fine of $1,400 by bringing it to the president of the homeowners association's front doorstep, five buckets full of coins. And I set it on his doorstep, handed it over to him and walked away. To my surprise, they took it as payment for this fine and I didn't hear a word from them while I continued to park my truck in the driveway. I knew for a fact that this was causing disruption in the neighborhood. I knew that neighbors were not happy that I was doing this. And I knew that a lot of other neighbors were happy that I was finally sticking up for myself and for those around us. My name's Dave. Um, I've lived in this neighborhood for 18 years, I believe. Um, I've always wanted to have a truck, but obviously I also like my garage. However, uh, with the new laws coming about by the state, I'm probably gonna get a truck now because for my business, it makes more sense. Everybody knew that it was an outdated rule. And it seems that after going to homeowners association meetings, that it was the right move. But to those who have been established in the neighborhood for some 30, 40 years, they hated it. They hated the trucks and it was time for a change. But, and I was going to be there to make it happen. And so it's just this crazy little neighborhood. And I know there's a lot of other neighborhoods like this that need the change, but the rules and bylaws make it pretty much impossible for it to actually happen. Again, in 2024, I was charged again over $3,000 for parking my pickup truck in the driveway. Now, as soon as this was starting to happen, we got word that our governor DeSantis was presented a bill that would ultimately change this for us without having to do anything. He was handed a bill that would allow pickup trucks to be parked in driveways and homeowners associations. The law literally states that homeowners associations are not allowed to tell their residents that they cannot park pickup trucks in their driveways. It was as almost as if the law was written for me. So while this bill was going through the House, which was unanimously voted for yes, as well as in the Senate, it was then presented to the governor for him to sign off on the bill. After the bill had passed the House and the Senate is when I received formal documentation in the mail from my homeowners association that said I was up for sanctioning from our board. I then logged into the Zoom meeting and I live streamed it to the world. And uh, I appreciate your notifying us at the beginning of this, that you are recording this meeting. And that the board unanimously decided they were gonna charge me over $3,000 in fines, despite me illustrating that the house had already passed it, the Senate had already passed it, and all we were waiting for was for the governor to sign off on the bill. Uh, ask if Dr. Mitchell wishes to say anything about this. Yeah, I think that you know, in consideration of the upcoming changes to the laws in Florida starting July 1st regarding homeowners associations, the rules against pickup trucks, that after speaking with an attorney that unjust enrichment for finding me for these violations with the change of law upcoming so quickly can seem quite unfair unfair enrichment that it's come so close to this effective date of this new law passing when you were aware of this occurring in October and we're sitting here some seven months later. I just, you know, now all of a sudden the law is going to change. So let's find him now while we have an opportunity to capitalize on some money here. I just ready to park the car and the truck in the garage. You know, living a fast paced lifestyle, it's, you know, I do, I do a lot with work and family and friends and the community and pulling in the garage every single time is quite an inconvenience. And it's not like I drive a piece of crap, you know, it's, it's a nice truck. Anyway, that's what I have to say. Once that bill would be in effect, I was free and clear, but they still decided to charge me over $3,000. Now, just a couple days after this meeting, the governor did in fact sign the bill which meant that I had 30 days before the law was going to become effective and I could park my truck outside finally. 
During this time, I had not received anything from the board in regards to how to pay the fines or what to do. So I sat tight and laid low and parked my truck in the driveway for this month until July 1st when it was to become effective. I heard from one of my neighbors that my address was on the bulletin to be discussed during one of the board meetings leading up to this date. I decided to show face and present myself and talk about my case once more and they dismissed all over $3,000 in fines unanimously. And I thought this was kind of fishy. I think that if I were to guess that the board was briefed by their attorneys and stating that they should drop the fines before this July 1st date so that no litigation or nothing could happen. And I'm not the type of person to sue somebody and I would have probably paid the fine, but they were advised to dismiss this case despite those members previously charging me with this amount, they quickly reversed the fines some weeks later before the law became effective. Now, I do believe that they could have followed through with the fines and I probably would have been stuck with paying it. Yes, I probably did. But did they have a decision to make when they fined me knowing that the law was going to change? They didn't have to do that. You know, they could have said, let's wait for this to change or see what's going to happen before proceeding with fines. It's almost as if this committee tried to charge me thousands of dollars before the rule is going to change. If I didn't pay it, they are bound to put a lien against my house, which is a crazy thing to think of that I spent all this money and bring value to the neighborhood and youth and a young family and that they would wanna charge a member of their community for driving a nice pickup truck and parking it in the driveway. So, hey, it all worked out. The law has effectively changed and there's now nothing that they can do about it. And I just wanna say, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. If something is meant to be, it will be. And in this case, I got really lucky. I got lucky that the law changed while I lived in this house and there was absolutely nothing that the board could do about it. So. Like I said before, if it's meant to be, it'll be stand up for yourself, but treat people with respect and do the right thing. I did not. And I would like to formally apologize again for that. Don't pay your fine in pennies. Don't live stream your board meetings. I'm glad I did it, but I wouldn't do it again. And so for that, I'd like to end this video with a thank you guys for supporting me through this homeowners association battle. It's been great. I've enjoyed it and we won. We got the law changed. I didn't even have to do anything, but now I can legally park my truck in the driveway without my homeowners association being able to do anything about it. Ironically enough, I will say now that the law has changed, it is pretty nice to be able to park my truck in the garage or on the driveway. Um, having a mini split in the garage is really nice in the summer. So ever since the law changed, I've been parking inside, but you bet nine months out of the year, I'll be parking on the driveway because I can now. Later, guys.